What up guys, we are in a pretty urgent situation right now when it comes to the Bitcoin ordinals market. If you've been paying attention to the market, you'll know that the inscription count has been going absolutely crazy recently. And sometime over this next week, we are going to pass that 1 million inscriptions number. So in this video, I'm gonna explain to you guys a brief explanation of what ordinals are, how to set up your wallet, different marketplaces, as well as how to mine your own inscription before we pass that number. So what exactly are Bitcoin NFT or Bitcoin ordinals. Well, guys, starting in December of 2022, they found a way to inscribe an image or data onto a Satoshi, which is the smallest unit of measurement when it comes to Bitcoin. Now, there's actually 100 million Satoshis per Bitcoin. And essentially what's happening, guys, is they're using Bitcoin nodes to mine these different Satoshis and give them an identity. So now all of a sudden that identity, which could be an image, can now be transferred or sent or sold to other people and that image will carry along with it. Now, what's really interesting, guys, is that these Bitcoin ordinals are completely on chain. They're immutable, so they can't be changed at all. The actual image and data is also stored on chain rather than something like IPFS. And there's a lot of other differences such as no ability to have metadata, no ability to have royalties and stuff like that. So pretty much what's been happening is people have been inscribing these different Bitcoin ordinals and it used to be a lot more difficult because you had to run your own Bitcoin node. But now since a lot of other marketplaces places and tools have come out that allowed this to be easier, we're starting to see the inscription number go absolutely crazy. Now, what's really interesting about these ordinals, guys, is the inscription number they have is based on when they were mined. So some of these first inscriptions that were created or these digital artifacts that people are calling them have these very low numbers. And having numbers under 1,000 or 10,000 or even 100,000 has more value. And even when the block of which it was mined can give it more value as well. So what's interesting is now all of a sudden, because of how much easier it is to have these Bitcoin ordinals, the amount of inscriptions has been doubled doubling, tripling, quadrupling every single day. Just yesterday, we had 80,000 inscriptions. The day before that, we had another 80,000 inscriptions. And if you look at ordinalswallet.com slash inscriptions, you'll now see that we're at 857,000. So part of the reason I'm making this video is to be within the 1 million might not sound like a big deal now, but in the future, when there's a lot more inscriptions, you can say that you actually had an NFT that was in one of these first 1 million inscriptions. And not only could that be a cool historical piece for you to show how early you were to the adoption of crypto, but at the same time, it could be something very valuable in the future once this number gets a lot higher. Now to actually show you guys how to get your own inscription before it's too late here. And by the way, guys, you can always get an inscription after 1 million. I just think the first million is a, is a big deal, at least in my mind, right? The first thing that you're gonna need though is a wallet. Now you can go to xverse.app, I'll put this in the description, and you can go to download and you can just add it as a Chrome extension. And now you're gonna get this handy dandy wallet up here. Now what's really interesting guys is you're gonna have two different addresses when it comes to your Bitcoin and when it comes to your ordinals. So once you actually have this Chrome extension and you save your seed phrase, when you click receive, you'll see that you have this Bitcoin address right here. This is the address where you're gonna have to send Bitcoin to. Now, once you send Bitcoin to this, it takes about an hour or two for it to actually arrive and be usable. It takes a very long time. And then you have your actual ordinals wallet, which is where your ordinals, digital artifacts, inscriptions, Bitcoin NFTs are actually going to be stored. Once you have your wallet funded, you'll actually be able to go to gamma.io and connect it on the top right corner. Now, Gamma is not only a marketplace for ordinals, but also the best place for you to mint your own or mine your own ordinal. All you have to do is hit create on the top right corner, then hit create inscriptions. And now you can upload a single image, a bulk image or text. Now, one thing that you guys have to know is that it's all based on data. Your image cannot be over four megabytes and the more data it has, the more money you're going to spend. So literally guys, all you have to do is click on an image. You can hit higher resolution if you want, but it's going to cost more fees. And once again, you're going to want that actual storage of that file to be a lot lower. Now this file, this image that I'm doing right here is actually the OG concept for Jelly Cubes 
which is my Cardano NFT project. So check it out if you're into NFTs on other chains. But literally guys, you just add in your image and now you're going to get this transaction fee. One thing to note is that depending on when you're doing this, the transaction fees are going to be lower and higher. Uh, but now you can basically see, you can do an economy, which might take a couple hours to a couple days. You can do normal, which is gonna take up to a few hours. You can do within an hour and you can do a custom fee. Literally when I did this yesterday, guys, I think I spent about $30 for this. Uh, so right now it's actually a lot cheaper. I would at the minimum do normal fee just because you don't wanna wait a couple days and potentially miss out on being within the first million. Once you click on normal fee though, you can hit continue. And this is where you had to pay attention to your addresses. When you open up your wallet, guys, you have those two addresses, like I said. The recipient Bitcoin address is where we'll send your ordinal. That means you have to click on this one, guys, and it even warns you. So once you click on that, you can now paste that address for where they're going to send the Bitcoin. Now the refund, the ordinal. Now when it comes to the actual Bitcoin as a refund in case it fails or anything, this is where you're going to have your actual Bitcoin address. And then of course, guys, you can put your email address, which will get you different notifications. Once that happens, you're gonna be able to see the inscription that you're gonna get. You have to scroll through this terms of service, agree to it, hit agree and continue. And then what's gonna happen is it's going to pop up with this transaction. You have to copy this address exactly, go to send over here, send your Bitcoin, paste in that address, and then you have to type in this amount exactly. So you would do 0 .005, uh, 2656, right? And then when you hit next, you'll be able to get a rundown. And when you hit confirm, it'll actually confirm that transaction. And then a couple hours later, you'll be able to get your ordinal. You've actually officially inscribed on the blockchain on Bitcoin. It's immutable. And now you probably, if you watch this video early and are subscribed, have under that one 1 million inscription number, which could be valuable in the future. Before ending the video, I also wanted to show you guys a couple of different marketplaces where you can actually buy these ordinals in case you wanna be an investor. Ordinals Market is probably the largest one. You also have Gamma with the ability to buy different uh, NFTs on here. You have Ordswap.io, and then you also have Ordinals Wallet. But to the best of my knowledge, most people just use this Ordinals.market. As far as my personal opinion on Ordinals and just the value of this, I personally think inscribing your own Ordinal is just something really cool to do. Whether or not it'll be valuable and people will care about it in the future, who knows guys, but it is the biggest blockchain out there. And there might be an opportunity in the future for you to be like, hey, I was in this top 1 million. And right now, how people view the top 10,000 might be the top 1 million if we have 500 million or 5 billion of these different inscriptions or ordinals out there. But for me, as a blockchain enthusiast and as someone who owns my own NFT project, I thought it would just be cool to inscribe the concept art of Jelly Cubes on here as far as a project founder. And now all of a sudden I can have a little bit of our history and our community inscribed on the blockchain and showing that we were early to this. And I'm kind of pissed at myself because I found out about this very early on back in January and we could have gotten a way uh, lower inscription number, but I'm just happy to have that under 1 million number and to really be able to cherish this moment. Now, as far as you go, what are you going to inscribe? Maybe you can inscribe a, a picture of your dog. Maybe you can inscribe an image of something you drew. Maybe it's just a name of a loved one. Uh, who knows, maybe it's your name, right? The options are endless. And I think for that 20 to 30 bucks, it's really just a cool experience and for something for you to have forever uh, and for something to be on the blockchain forever. And now if someone ever asks you for a fun fact about yourself, you can say, yeah, I have a Bitcoin inscription description uh, of myself or my name or whatever I did on the blockchain before 1 million inscriptions. But yeah, that pretty much wraps it up. I think it's just a cool little thing. I wanted to show you guys no idea what it'll be worth in the future, but it's something fun. And I think there's a value in that in itself. But yeah, that wraps up the video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more NFT content. And with that, I'll catch you guys on the next one.